Summer break on the brain. Plenty of people around central Indiana are probably thinking about going out on the water. Conservation officers say they want families to be safe while also having fun. Sunrise reporter Anna Carrera is live for us at Geist Marina with some ideas. Looks beautiful behind you, Anna. Uh, yeah, it is a beautiful day out here today. We've already seen some families heading out on the water, but we want to give you guys some ideas if you're getting out there. Just as good reminders, the number one thing, wear a life jacket. Conservation officers we talk with say they don't find it's drowning victims with these because these save lives. And another thing that it's a good idea to have, one of these throwable flotation devices. You can toss one of these out in case so there's some kind of an emergency and people need help. Now, we were out already this weekend watching some boats out here on Geist, and uh, conservation officers say around this time of year, they're keeping an eye on drivers, making sure their registration is up to date and they're not getting too close to other boats, going too fast in idle zones or drinking and driving. But those officers are also staying aware in case something serious happens. Now, just last weekend, conservation officers responded to three different rescue efforts within four days in our area. At Lake Monroe, they searched for three days before finding the body of a 26-year-old man who was swimming off a pontoon when he disappeared. He was not wearing a life jacket. If the water's faster than they have normally recreated in, put a life jacket on. Um, it's a little uncomfortable, but being uncomfortable for a couple hours while you're recreating on the water is a lot better than not being around anymore. Conservation officers are still searching for a man who went missing last weekend after canoeing in the White River in Indianapolis. He also was not wearing a life jacket, a common trend here. So conservation officers are saying, make sure you've got these life jackets. You don't necessarily have to wear them, but make sure you've got them in the boat, one per person, and make sure they fit you. So an adult size for an adult person, smaller ones for the little guys. Alyssa. Anna, such important information. Thank you so much for highlighting it for us this morning.